If you're working programmatically with this plugin by welaunch.io, it's the WooCommerce Attribute Images and Variation Swatches. It creates a new products attribute section, which allows you to create attributes and then allows you to assign images to those attributes. You can see here, here's the St. Louis Cardinals attribute. So if you're trying to program a function that, for example, pulls all of the attributes and then pulls the images, of the attribute from that product to display here. I'm gonna show you how to accomplish that because their documentation is terrible, but it's not a terribly complicated thing to do. So first, this is the uh, the file. So class WooCommerce attribute, that's the, the file that they actually have where they store this function. You'll see here that for some absolutely awful reason, they put all of the information contained for those terms and which images are associated with those attributes in one big get option table. So what they're doing here is they have to pull all of the data for all of the attributes as opposed to saying, you know, the right thing that WooCommerce or WordPress programs where you can just put it in the terms meta table and you would pull that term. No, no, you can't do it that way. You have to pull this whole thing out, then find the right term that you're looking for. So here's the code that I'm working on. I've pulled my uh, all the orders for this user, and I'll share this code in here. So I pulled by the currently logged in user. I pulled all of their orders. We're iterating through all of their orders as an individual order. We are then going down here, getting all of the items that are inside of that order. So you can see we're getting the orders data, and then we're getting the product. From there, what we're doing is we're getting all of the attributes of that product. Then we are iterating through all of those product attributes individually. Here you can see that code that I took from their plugin where I'm getting all of that huge array of data. That's the term data as they're calling it. So then I'm using this term ID. I'm keeping this the same to match their uh, to match their code because you can see here they use term ID. Just did that for simplicity. The attribute ID so the, the ID of the attribute that we're inside of, and in this instance, the product that we're looking at has three attributes, and that's those three teams that are associated with it. I'm getting that term ID. So to get the thumbnail ID, we're checking inside of this giant thing for the term ID to see if there is a thumbnail set for it. If there's not, they're using the ternary operator to set it to blank. Then I have this one set up for a... Uh, just a, a demo icon so that if that doesn't exist, I can default to showing that icon. So then we come down here, we check to see if the thumbnail ID exists. If it does, then we use the actual get attachment image source. That thumbnail ID is the ID number associated by the WordPress media library. We're pulling that thumbnail size. You can obviously change this to a different size if you wanted to. Then we come down here and we're getting the URL from that thumbnail source. Also, again, you can see using the ternary operator, if it's not empty, then it uses the thumbnail source provided. If it is empty, then I'm using that default thumbnail icon that I set manually. You could obviously put this into a set of plugin functions or whatever, but I'm hard coding it because that's the easiest. And then obviously if the thumbnail ID returns empty, I'm also using that default. Then finally, I'm just spitting it out. So there's the thumbnail URL. It does return the full URL of the image. And I'm just using this get name as a class. You can see here, that's what this attribute, the name of the attribute is. I'm using it as a CSS class for debugging. So what that'll do is every time somebody buys a product, it's gonna go down and iterate through here and spit these out in the columns. There's always three teams per column in this specific instance. Like I said, I was just trying to work through this because their documentation was terrible and this is a god-awful way to do it, but it's how it works. So if this helps somebody, then great. If not, well, have a nice day anyway. This is Ellis Bennis with Floating Axe Technologies. If you need any help with web design or digital marketing, we are here to help you. Have a great day.